Hi everybody, it's Daphne and you're very welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to spend some of your time with me today. Today I'm going to talk about some habits that I um, intend to establish and keep going through autumn winter of this year um, and they are habits that will hopefully help to keep me centred and relaxed and uh, not as stressed as I have been feeling. <laughs> I thought about this I wanted to kind of go into the autumn winter putting in place n habits that are going to make me feel relaxed and um, will just help me to feel good about things. And I suppose the first one that I really should start with is a general self sense of well-being. One of the things that I've noticed over the last couple of months that I haven't been reading at night. All through lockdown and all through summer I was reading every night before I went to bed and before I went to sleep and it was really relaxing and I felt, felt I was falling into a natural deep sleep. So I'm getting distracted by my phone, by my iPad, um, by the news on TV and I need to stop doing that so I need to relax and have no screen time. And one way of relaxing I showed this in my last video as one of my favorites, but this is an aroma diffuser. And I'll just turn it on for you. Um, you can see the light come on there and you might see a little stream of steam. The light changes color and inside it, I can take this off to show you. You can see the colors change, they're very pretty. Um, you can see that there's water in there. You can see it bubbling away and um, I put essential oils into that. So usually lavender and I mix it with, um, sandalwood is one of my favorites to mix it with, neroli, um, ylang ylang, uh, what else have I got, rose. Uh, I have a winter blend as well, which I haven't tried yet. You can actually, you can set the, the light to a color that you really like. So that's actually purple now, it's not showing up purple, but you can set it to that color or you can turn the light off and still have the steam. It makes a lovely, um, a very gentle, you know, water sound. It's like a water, a water feature in your garden kind of thing. But I have been finding if I have that on in the room, it's, it really, really helps. But I, if you, another press and it turns it off, but I actually like the lights. And if you turn, if you turn off the lights in the room and just have this light, it's really beautiful. I really, really enjoy that. So I'll just turn it off for now. Um, but that's one thing that would really contribute to um, relaxation. Um, another thing that I've been thinking about is that I've been sort of wasting time, <laughs> if that makes sense. I, you know, I get up early and I'm thinking because I'm because now I'm not bringing anybody to school. I, you know, I'll do a tidy up and put away the breakfast things, tidy up. I'll clean the bathrooms, do a quick hoover. And it's because I'm doing it every day, it's very quick to do it. And I'd spend one day doing a sort of a deep clean. So sort of by nine o'clock in the morning, I'm done. Because we can't meet up with people so much, and I'm inclined to kind of sit down and again, start with the social media, and it's distracting me from doing other things. So I bought a planner last year, <laughs> but this beautiful planner that I bought last, oh, it was before Christmas last year, um, Happiness Blooms From Within, it's a Heather, Still of some. She is an artist and writer who fell in love with drawings as a child and has been holding a pencil ever since. And it's just beautifully, um, it's just beautifully illustrated and laid out. Sorry, I'm not doing this much justice. There's one for, let's see now. Um, that one says, life may not be easy right now, but together we can make it through anything. We will, we can make it through anything. We will always have each other. So, you know, th there's different um, inspirations. There's one for September. Sometimes taking a step outside of your comfort zone can be scary, but with a little bit of confidence and a couple of steps at a time, some pretty amazing things can happen. Go ahead and take that first step. Yes, you can do it. Your goals are waiting for you. And every every few pages, there's inspirations like that. And it's just, look at those illustrations. It's just beautiful. But I haven't been using it. So I know there's only what, three months left in, this, in the year. I am going to use this and try and plan my days so that I feel I'm achieving a little bit more. I'm also, and I said this before, and I, I do it every so often, but I don't do it with any regularity. And that is to plan my outfits. Because when I feel put together, I just feel much better about myself rather than just getting up in the morning and grabbing you know some workout clothes and just put them on it's easy you're also cozy and warm but it doesn't make you feel 
you're go like you're going to be productive. I suppose one of the most important things is exercise and diet. And I, you, I'm not actually, I'm not going to use the word diet. He healthy eating. Um, because if you eat well, and I know this from my own experience, when you're eating well, I feel so much better when I do that. I really, really do. And um, I have to say, I've been neglecting it a little bit and e e ch snacking too much. So I need to cut my sugar intake. The other thing I really need to do, and it's quite hard because I'm sure like a lot of you over the lockdown period, I did put weight on, definitely. I really want to get rid of that, but I want to do it a healthy way. Now I know I've done the 5-2 diet. I did that two years ago for a year and I lost 18 pounds, but I put it back on very easily. I need to focus more on what I am eating and to exercise. I need to get walking to get to benefit my heart and I need to do some at-home workouts to sort of tone up. Sort of things you can do at home that are kind of spa-like. So I'm going to really take care of the skin on my body. I'm going to use my, my body brush. You've heard me speak about this. I had sort of let the habit go. But I am going to exfoliate my skin in the shower more often. And you don't need to buy an expensive exfoliator. You can do it with sugar and almond oil or um, olive oil or vegetable oil you just make it up until it's a nice uh, consistency and just be careful in the shower if you're using oil because it will make the shower tray slippy so be careful um, but you just use it to scrub your body and take off all those dead skin cells and I'm going to be more consistent with moisturizing I haven't been and this is one I, I mentioned this in my last video it's a beautiful body butter and it's by an Irish company called Inner Zen Organics and it's absolutely so hydrating and leaves your skin so so soft without being greasy another thing that makes me feel really good about myself is if I have a little bit of a self tan now this is the one I was using and I stopped self tanning quite a few weeks ago and I really need to go back to it just even for a little while just to give myself a bit of a lift Skincare I talk about regularly and you know I, I put so much emphasis on skincare because if you have good skin really you don't need to use a huge amount of makeup and it, it just makes you feel so good in yourself. So I am going to mask more regularly because I don't mask regularly enough and I really really need to. I also have, you've heard me mention this before and it's my Devol um, cleansing system and it's you know you have there's two um, fittings for or two attachments rather for the face and I keep them in a little bag so there's one for cleansing and it's exfoliating so you use it with whatever your um, your cleanser is there's also an attachment for the body which would exfoliate the body as well and really deep cleanse that's it there um, and there's also one for exfoliating your tootsies <laughs> and it, that's actually very good as well so i'm going to make myself i haven't been using it as frequently as i should um the other thing it's my rose quartz roller and my gua sha and these are great for relaxing the skin relaxing the muscles draining the lymphatic system and making your face feel so relaxed it's such a treat to use them i am going to do a dedicated video this from is from jade and gua um, they're based in California, but they are absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to make my, make sure that I do that on a regular, regular basis. I am inclined to neglect my lips and I notice of late, I do get dry lips in the winter time, but I notice of late that they're becoming more kind of just dry little pieces of skin. So I'm going to make sure that I use a lip scrub. And again, it doesn't have to be a, um, one you buy in the shop. You can make one with sugar again and a little bit of olive oil or use a toothbrush and just to brush off whatever de dead skin cells are there. I am dreadful for neglecting my feet I, because all summer long I have been wearing my Birkenstocks so they're so comfortable on the feet but it, they really play havoc with your heels. I'm going to be much more diligent about exfoliating. I picked that up in um, pennies. You pick these up in a chemist or whatever. So to exfoliate and also as I say I can use this and then to follow up with some cream but I actually and I had this all summer and I stopped using it and it's the Once Heal Balm and it works a dream it just softens everything and I think you know when your feet are soft and they're, they look pretty you just I don't know it just it's a little bit more indulgent so I'm going to do more at home pedicures similarly I'm going to do at home manicures um, 
I do suffer a lot with very dry skin. And when I am nervous, and I, <laughs> this is why I'm wearing press on nails, I have sort of nibbled away on my nails and they are not looking good at the moment. So I said I'd put on the press on nails to try and help them grow so that I'm not, you know, absent mindedly, absent mindedly chewing on them. Um, I'm going to do my hand scrub again with the, um, you know, with a, a, a sugar scrub and use my beautiful hand creams. I have two of these actually because I got them as gifts. The L'Occitane Shea Butter Hand Cream. This is beautiful because I find as well that my knuckles get very dry and if the knuckles get very dry the skin gets thicker. For nail care, it's just some tools that you can pick up in any chemist or boots super drug. Um, I have a cuticle uh, trimmer. Now you don't have to use that but you can buy these, you know the little wooden, I think they're called orange sticks and you just push your cuticles back. This is a lovely nail oil that my, I think my daughter got it in a nail salon because there's no there's no name on it, but it's just, you could use almond oil. It doesn't matter, doesn't have to be a specific nail oil. Um, but a little bit of that, I would, I should really do that every single night just to moisturize and nourish my cuticles because I do find that around, around my fingers gets very, very dry and unsightly. So I'm going to be more careful um, about having my nails, you know, nicely presented. And actually, I love a nude nail or I love a nice bright nail that's one of my favorite colors it's the opi bubble bath it's a beautiful nude but if you put something like the orly um polish shield all in one ultimate top coat <laughs> that will finish off your polish and help it to last a lot longer now you're not going to get three weeks out of uh, an at-home polish you're just not it's not a shellac but you guys definitely going to get a good few days maybe a week um and it's fun I, I do that with my girls um, we'll do manicures and we set up in the kitchen and we do all you know the buffing and so on so it's great fun the last thing I wanted to talk about was um, hair care uh, as I said I recently got my hair cut and I got about eight inches taken off it and so it's in a lot better condition than it was and I want to keep it that way and I had heard I was listening to lots of podcasts and so on over lockdown and I'd heard really really good reports about this particular mask and it's by Joico it's called the K-Pak Color Therapy Luster Lock um, and it is it's instant shine and repair treatment now it's a bit pricey it was 25 euro I think I bought it at my salon but you use a very small amount and my stylist said to me look you're paying a lot for this she said I I've used this at home and I've left it on 10 minutes 15 minutes an hour because she said you want as much of the goodness going into your hair and where the hair needs it that's where it goes and it sort of washes off where it's not needed and um, it doesn't weigh the hair down now i haven't tried it yet but she told me it doesn't weigh the hair down and i have very fine hair i can't use anything that's going to weigh it down because it'll just look flat and lifeless so i am going to be diligent about using this she was saying at the beginning use it maybe once a week and then once a fortnight and so on. The other thing I wanted to do to help me sort of have a little bit more of a feel good factor is to try to whiten my teeth a little bit. Now I naturally have, they're not white, white teeth. Um, they would be slightly more a creamy color. So I'm gonna try whitening them naturally first with this is the Colgate um, Natural Extracts Charcoal Toothpaste. Um, it has quite a strong smell or quite a strong taste um, and quite a strong smell. Yes, yeah, very, very, very minty. Um, but now I've only used it a few times. <laughs> it's definitely not had any um, impact yet, but I am going to persevere. And I may, if I don't see that it's actually really having any effect on me, I may even try the whitening strips, but I have sensitive teeth, so I'm a bit nervous. Also, I'm a very cautious about putting anything that's chemically on, you know, into, onto my skin or into my mouth. Um, so if you have any recommendations for sort of naturally whitening teeth, I'd really, really appreciate them. But I did mention press on nails. These are the ones that I'm wearing. They're by um, Primark PS and these are the French glossies. Now. But that's them. I think they look quite natural and you can actually shape them. Let me know what you are going to be doing um, or what habits you have found actually really work to help you feel centered and relaxed and help you feel well. Um, comments and questions below. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you very soon in the next video. Bye.